Hi everyone, my name is Itamar Blauer and in this video I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do some SEO competitor research, competitor analysis using a very simple site search command from Google. So if I find a keyword that I'm trying to target, for example SEO expert, and I put that on Google and I'm going to look to see the results that come up using incognito of course and what I find is in the organic listing so i'm position three four five i'm position six for seo expert and we've got uh, paul hoda uh, in position two and gas hall in position three so let's take a look at these two websites and what i'm going to do let's start off with paul hoda ranking number two i'm going to go to a new tab and do site colon paste the domain there and then do a space and in quotation marks i'm going to put in the exact keyword that I've typed in. And when I put enter, I'm gonna see the results that come up. So there's about 66 instances where there are pages on this website that include the keyword SEO expert. And what I might wanna do is look into a couple of them and let's just go into maybe these two. Here and we open them up. We're going to control F and type in SEO expert again and see how many times that's actually in the content. So, in the content itself, we've got it five times and we're just looking through to see what they're doing. So, we've got an internal link to the home page from this one here. And as we scroll down, we can see more instances and we can see actually in the footer as well, there's a few times where it's mentioned with an internal link here next to the copyright which is interesting and this just shows what google is rewarding google is giving the site position two and yes there's some keyword stuffing in there if you want to call it that but it's being rewarded by google so if we take a look and do the same thing here again we've got seo experts here seo experts is the keyword with the internal link as well i mean this looks like a mess of a page but you know, this site is ranking and that's what's important to check. And the other thing to note as well is that this site has 66 results with SEO expert in there. If I compare it to my own website, right? If I compare that to my own site, I've only got about 15 results. So we can already see that Paul Hoda has four times, more than four times the amount of URLs that includes the, that keyword SEO expert in there. So for me, that's suggesting, well, I need to create more content and include the keywords in there because that is being rewarded by Google. And this isn't looking at any links or anything like that. We're just looking at the on-page. We're just looking at how they're utilizing these keywords. So let's change the example to uh, gazhall.com and do the exact same thing. So site search, the competitor in the space SEO expert and we see that we've got about 38 results. So that's still more than double of the URLs that have the keywords SEO expert in there. And then we can just go and take a look into a couple of these pages to see what they're doing, type in SEO expert, and we can see here already there's a lot more mention of SEO experts on this page but I'm looking for specific things. I'm looking for the internal links, right? And there's a lot of, there's 40 different references of SEO expert in here. So, you know, call again, call that what you will, but I'm looking in here and I'm specifically not even seeing an internal link yet. Maybe I've missed it, but that might be another thing to mention as well, that, you know, you've got this keyword in there so many times, but it's not, going back to your home page. So that's interesting um, from, from this website from Gaz Hall. Uh, let's just quickly look at the other one and see there's only one mention SEO experts here. Again, no internal link. So it makes you wonder what it is that's causing this site to rank. It could be the backlinks, but it could also be the way that the keywords are being distributed across the site as well. So this is just a quite an easy and quick thing that you can do for your website. You just type in the keyword you're targeting, look at the organic competitors, pick a couple of them out and just do a site search and see where they're including that keyword on their site 
so you have a better idea in terms of what you can do in terms of creating and optimizing your own content. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like rating below because that will really help me out. I've been Itamar Blauer and until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, you've reached the end of this video, but don't worry, there's plenty more great content that you can watch right now. All you have to do is click one of the two video links on the left side of the screen. And also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to never miss out on future uploads.